Hi and welcome back to the Freshly Centered YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be an upper body pregnancy workout routine that you can do and it is safe for all trimesters but as always please listen to your body and work within your own controls. So let's begin in sitting and cross your legs if that's comfortable to do so. Have equal pressure down on both bottom bones and we're going to lengthen really tall through your spine. So feel that length coming through the top of the head, but feel the grounding coming down through the pelvis and underneath us. We're going to fold our hands up to our dumb waiter position and just gently draw the shoulder blades back behind us. So starting with some posture and shoulder blade work, this is great for strengthening the upper back muscles. So we're going to lightly engage through our core and we're going to open those arms out to the side and then back to the start. As we rotate, feel your shoulder blades drawing down into your back pockets. So let's breathe out, breathe in. So feel your collarbones widening at the front of your chest. Feel the shoulder blades drawing down towards the hips. And they'll be lightly coming together as we open here as well. Let's take one more here. And then we're going to add on our Cleopatra just for a little bit more. So we do our dumb waiter, and then we're going to turn the hands over, reach long through the fingertips, bring it back in again. So we dumb waiter to Cleopatra and then come back in. Breathing out, reach long through the fingertips, breathing in. Now, as you come out longer here, feel that core engagement coming in a little bit further as you're just a little bit more challenged with the arms further away from the body. Feel the shoulder blades coming down into your back pockets even more. Exhaling, reach long. Inhaling, come back. Take one more and hold it here. We're gonna take this arm up and over for a mermaid side bend stretch. Now anchor your bottom down onto the floor for this side and then come back up, taking it over to the other side, anchor that bottom down, reach through those fingertips. We'll go once more to either side, reaching over. Inhale as we hold, and then back, taking one more. Inhale, and exhale, good. Okay, we're gonna take it round onto our hands and knees. So set yourself up on all fours with the shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. And we're just gonna keep the elbows uh, straightened here. We're gonna take some scapular isolations or shoulder blade isolations here. So we're going to lower the chest between the arms and then draw the chest up high. So as we lower, those elbows remain fully straight and we lift. Just regulate your breathing, but it's really important to activate those muscles between the shoulder blades. And just think about getting the weight through the arms at a comfortable level. So let's just take a breath in and a breath out. Take one more and we want to stay lifted in this next position here. So have your chest high, your shoulders down away from your ears, and then just lightly tuck your tailbone and engage your core. We're gonna come into some arm lifts now. So just gently transfer the weight to one arm and extend this arm outwards, and then come back. Lengthen through the other arm and come back. So although I'm saying transfer the weight, I don't want you to transfer your body position. So really keep yourself in mind of having contact with the four points of your mat here. Exhaling as we lengthen that arm, inhaling, come back. Really lift the chest, lift through the upper body and really draw yourself away from that static arm. Taking one more here. Good, we're gonna come into our swimming exercise next. So remaining where we are, we're gonna add the legs into this a little bit more. 
for a bit more of a core challenge as well as upper body. So engaging through your center, we're gonna lengthen opposite arm and leg, create a lift, lower and back. Switching sides, lift, lower and back. Let's exhale. Inhale. Now be really mindful of gently drawing up through your core, through your tummy. And if it feels like there's too much load, you could keep the arms here rather than doing the lift. But I want you to really feel that drawing up through the chest, through this arm as much as we can. Keep those shoulder blades back and down. Good, okay, let's take three more. Two, squeezing up into that buttocks. And one more. Good, from there, let's just get the weight off the shoulders, part your knees, send the hips back over the heels for a child's pose and breathe out. Allow your tummy and your chest and your forehead to relax down here. Nice deep breaths. Just let go of any tension in the upper back and the arms. And then gently come back up. Okay. We're gonna take it into some push-ups now. So we've got a few different variations for this that I'm just gonna show you the different options. So bring the knees together and lift up through the feet. So the first option we have slightly easier is our box push-up. So with my core engaged, my shoulders back, I'm just gonna bend at the elbows and lift. And you'll see my bottom sticks up into the air. So that would be your lighter option. Harder option is I'm gonna bring those arms further out. So I'm gonna load my upper body further and I'm gonna go from here. So we inhale, prepare. We exhale and inhale. Trying to get your chest, your hips and your thighs to the floor. So you work within your control. You might find you only go to here and come back and that's completely fine if that's within your level, okay? So making sure the arms feel good, making sure that we feel like we have that lift underneath our core. So seeing if you can keep the momentum going, we breathe out, breathe in. Let's take three more, three, two, and one. Good job, let's take a quick child's pose there. So just part those knees again, sink yourself down. Give the wrists a loosen off if they need it. Okay, so we're gonna come on to um, a similar position for this next one. So set yourself back up on those hands and knees, shoulders over the wrists, knees roughly under the hips here. We're gonna fold those legs up. We're gonna take a little rock side to side. So just warming up those side tummy muscles, keeping that chest pushed away from the floor. And then you're gonna roll the weight all the way to one side, transfer to this hand, and we're gonna lift upwards. Squeeze up through that lower waist as we hold and then come back around. Transfer the, waist, uh, the weight, lengthen through the arm, lift that lower waist. Keep your core engaged inwards and come back. Exhaling as we come round. Eye gaze to the hand if you want to intensify and come back, rolling around. Keep that shoulder roughly over the wrist if you can. Keep strong out of your mat. Last time, now this time, if you want to, you can add that leg out, 
but keep that connection through the core in the middle and then come back. Rolling around, length and tall, strong body. Breathing in and out. Come back around and take the weight off of those wrists. Give your wrists a good little bit of a loosen off then after all of that weight bearing, even through your shoulders. We're gonna take it into some chest stretches now to open up the front of your body, which is really important when you might feel like we're hunching forwards an awful lot. So hands to the side here, lengthen tall through that spine. We're gonna lift, widen through the top, and then back down again. Exhaling and inhaling. So think of those shoulder blades behind you, drawing back down into their pockets and then back down again. Feel your collarbones widening through the front of the body, but keeping this rib cage connected down. So we want to feel like our chest stays in, our core stays in, Take one more. Nice, okay, come back to your hands and knees for our last one here. We're gonna take our thread the needle to get a bit of rotation through the upper body. So you're going to take one hand, you're gonna slide it underneath, and then we're gonna look round up to the ceiling. Look down and low, <clears throat> and lift up tall. Taking one more and left. And then we'll switch to the other side. So threading down, get your shoulder as low to the floor as you feel able to. Taking a breath in and a breath out. And then last time and left. Good job. Let's finish with our last child's pose. So part those knees, sink your tummy, sink your chest, sink your forehead, and nice big breath out. Really nice position to be in just to relieve all that tension through the upper body, right down to your lower back. And relax. Well done. I hope you enjoyed your upper body workout um, and I hope you'll join me on the Freshly Centred YouTube channel soon. Bye.